worst case scenario, I got an umbrella. There you go. <laughs> Just use the umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Yep. When one bites, I reel them in. That's all it takes. Like it's that right? easy. Yeah. One minute. Alongside of him, the reigning Bass Pro Tour Angler of the Year, fishing for favorite and epic bait, it's Matt Becker! In flight number three. Four pounds, ten ounces. Four ten to start the day, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Gonna need a lot more of them. Three pounds, one ounce. That's a three pounder? Two pounds to zero ounces. Okay, I will take that. Absolutely. Actually, a lock in at two pounds, one ounce. Two pounds, four ounces. Three pounds, eight ounces. Three eight. That'll work. That's a good one. Man, my thumbs are starting to bleed. These fish, their teeth get so rough when they're feeding on shad like this. Thumbs are all tore up. It's just a testament to how good Toledo Bend is. And you have a lot of 
pounds, nine ounces. Two nine. Little meatball. Slow and steady. That's all we got today. Slow and steady. I wish we could catch them faster, but I'm not on them good enough. They're just they're on the slow and steady pattern. to hit him, but finally got him. Two pounds, five ounces. Two pounds, one ounce. That'll work. Yeah, we've been on a drought. We've been on a drought. Finally broke the drought. Four pounds, zero ounces. Four pounder, all right. I thought so. Man, that's a healthy fish. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, 
built. Easier than the last one. Four pounds, fifteen ounces. Four fifteen. <laughs> that helps. Look at the belly on that fish. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful pristine bass right there. Golly. Still goes on the school tracker, that's right. That's all that matters to me right now. Three pounds, two ounces. Love it. Sweep it up, buddy. Two pounds, one ounce. Look at that. Calling my shot. Two more.
bound to pan out. One minute. Just for security purposes. Reigning Angler of the Year, Woo! Mr. Matt Becker! Let me oh, go! Man, almost right where you left off, you know, back in the thick of it again, championship round. Things look good last year, but they're looking good here in 2024. Yeah, you know, everything came together so last minute this year. I mean, getting my boat, my wrap, I mean, it was down to the wire, and I didn't really get to fish a whole lot leading up to this tournament. So coming into this, I felt a little rusty, and I was a little worried about this tournament. So it feels really good to kind of knock all that rust off and get back into the swing of things, making the top 10 to start the year. I mean, you can't ask for much more than that. You know, to, to meet all those guys in Angler of the Year is one thing, but to uh, sponsor obligations and, and people wanting more of your time, is that a big part of the offseason now? Yeah, I mean, there's, a, there's definitely a busy offseason between the, the team series and the sponsor obligations and all that, but, I mean, it, it's business as usual. We're more motivated than ever to uh, try and defend that title, so uh, we've got a lot of work ahead of us this season, but that's definitely the plan. And did you learn anything today that will transfer in tomorrow? The weather's going to be a little different on the better side of it. Maybe, maybe better as we look at it, but maybe not better for fishing. Yeah, you know, this is a phenomenal lake. It's full of big fish, but unfortunately, I think I'm about out of fish for, the, for this tournament. So we're going to kind of scrap things and just kind of go out there and uh, maybe stumble onto something tomorrow. But, uh, I mean, I'm just glad to have burnt up everything I, I had just to make it here to the championship round. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. I mean, you never know. We're going out with a one in 10 chance, weight zero, take home the, the title. I mean, you can't ask for much more than that. So we're going to go out and uh, try our best. But, you know, as of now, it's looking like I'm out of fish. That's right. You're going to find him. An angler here knows how to find him. And speaking of finding something, we definitely All right, guys. Well, we did it. We finished in sixth place in the knockout round. That means we made the top 10, headed to the championship round tomorrow. Feels good to start the year off with a top 10. But unfortunately, I think I'm probably out of fish. You know, I think I burned up everything that I had just to make it to the championship round. So we're kind of going to have to scrap everything and uh, maybe stumble on to something tomorrow. But it was a good day. Caught a lot of bass and uh, made the championship round. So y'all stay tuned for tomorrow. It's going to be a shootout.